Hey, but it's Miss Fuggy here coming at you with another Borderlands 3 video. I'm going to be showcasing all the vault card legendaries that just came out, all four of them, the grenade, the artifact, and the two SMGs that came out. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You have no idea how much it helps me out, and let's get into it. And I also want you to let you know that there's going to be a save file for all these pieces of the gear in the comments and description down below. So first weapon is actually really freaking good. It's actually so much better than that you than you would think and that's because it has this amazing effect every time you pick up cash you get 10 percent fire rate and mag size now the reason why this is so good is that you can use this effect on any gun so the stacks you get act like terror so i just put it on myself on this weapon it's normally six magazine now it's nine magazine and i'm able to shoot really really quickly so all the stacks that you get from this gold rush weapon carries over to any gun that you want so you could pretty much get infinite fire rate and magazine size to any weapon you want because there isn't a set stack for the amount of fire rate and magazine size you can get from the gold rush so it's actually incredible so when i first recorded this this is actually my second attempt recording it the gold rush i didn't think was very good i was shooting it it's just a cryo smg with hyperion it has good accuracy like any other hyperion gun and i switched to another weapon and i found out that the stacks actually carry over like the rog nozzle sort of and I was blown away. I had a genuine reaction like, oh my god, this weapon's actually really good. And it's probably going to be a main seller on the thumbnail and the title and stuff. But I just want to let everyone know that this gun is actually insane. And it has a lot of potential for a lot of builds when mobbing. Of course, with bossing, you're not going to be able to pick up any cash. So it's not going to be really good <laughs> for anything but mobbing. But it's really cool to have infinite fire rate and magazine size. Now, next we have the troubleshooter. So the troubleshooter has this cool effect that every time you shoot an enemy it identifies what type of health bar it's at and switch it to an appropriate element so despite that cool effect the weapon damage is actually not even that phenomenal when free firing it it rotates from fire of radiation cryo and shock but when you shoot an enemy with a health bar like uh right here it's it's shock it switched from fire right to shock and it's going to keep hitting shock until it goes to the flesh and now it's shooting fire bullets which is really really cool i don't know if these bullets do splash damage at all and if it does it's actually going to be really really good for mo's mains out there and it does ricochet off walls but it doesn't home onto the enemy so the ricocheting doesn't matter that much the damage is actually okay uh it's not that phenomenal i could definitely see mo's being able to do a lot of damage but a lot of these weapons you can't judge fairly until we get annoyments because the first time you unlock these weapons and pieces of the gear, there's no annoyments until you re-roll them for another five keys. So everyone's probably not going to be able to get any annoyments on these for a little bit. And I'm pretty sure until you re-roll it, you're not going to be able to get annoyment on the weapons. Like you can't go to Crazy Earl and re-roll annoyments until you, I believe, re-rolled it once or something like that i'm not entirely sure i just know that when guardian angel first came out you couldn't re-roll the anointment until you <laughs> unlocked it twice at least for me that's how it was i'm not sure if anybody else was able to bypass that it's really good magazine size despite its damage lacking so if you get a lot of fire rate it could deal a lot of damage and then we have the pyro burst grenade which is actually a really cool grenade it has a red text that is i think an emote on twitch at least that's what people have been telling me it's not that great of a grenade it doesn't deal a lot of damage it can't kill Captain Trot very well and even when I spawn him with Peregrine it doesn't seem to spawn on bosses when I hit him with the rack attack but I'm gonna real quick throw it out freely right here and it launches right up like the firework grenade and it flew, flew over there I didn't want that so I'm gonna throw it down here and it kind of acts like the firework grenade in, in Borderlands 2 where it launches into the air and shoots a bunch of fireworks sort of and it does random elements so it's pretty cool and it constantly keeps bouncing so it does a lot of stuff and these projectiles do home pretty fast so it could potentially do pretty decent on a most splash build that uses guardian angel and maybe urad but right now the damage isn't that that great i'm going to spawn it with paravine bonuses right here so it's spawned let's see if it does decent damage it's doing okay damage it's nothing phenomenal and it looks like do, they do crit so megavore would be something that you would 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 want if you do find down if you do later in the road find out it does decent damage with some annoyances you could potentially use megavore to increase your damage even more but see right there even though the guy was getting hit by all the bullets he didn't take a lot of damage so far right now it doesn't deal that great damage even with Moe's, it doesn't deal that much damage but someone pointed out that you could potentially use a level one one of these 
and use it to proc vampire and a bunch of other stuff for most so you could potentially use it as a utility grenade like most grenades are used in this game so you could use it in that particular way and then finally we have the schluter artifact that a lot of people have probably already known about since this is one of the more insane artifacts that just got released. It increases your legendary drop rate by 100,000% on every kill, which is really, really cool. It kind of basically just gives you the pre-nerf legendary drop rate that Borderlands 3 used to have. So it's actually pretty cool. It's a fun artifact that doesn't do too much for your damage or anything. It's kind of more just for farming. It allows you to farm better for world drops and stuff like that. But otherwise, it's an okay artifact. You're definitely going to see a lot of people talk about it in, in the community saying like it's insane and stuff like that. I think it's really cool to be able to get the pre-nerfed legendary drop rate sort of. And this effect obviously doesn't stack so you can't get like 200% legendary drop rate. At least as far as I'm aware it doesn't stack. So you can't stack this and get <laughs> insane amounts of legendary drop rate. But I just real quick want to show you the gold rush again because it's actually freaking insane. So I'm going to kill these enemies. I'm going to real quick find a weapon that's actually decent, Monarch, because why not? Monarch is usually pretty good. So we have that, our magazine size now 64 by just one enemy killed, and now it's going to shoot <laughs> super fast. You see that? That's crazy. It's like it's like how the super soldier like made you shoot insanely fast, but it's on demand and you can switch it to any weapon you want. It's crazy, and I'm pretty sure these last for a long time, 20 seconds in fact. So it's really, really cool. And I'm not sure if you have to kill the enemy with Gold Rush to make the cache actually activate that. So let me real quick test that. Okay, we have some money drops right here. I'm going to loot up and bam, confirmed. Any cash drop without killing them with Gold Rush allows you to get the stacks if you just swap to the weapon and pick up the gold. Like right here, I just got more. If you heard that little sound cue, it was like, Woo, that means we got the stacks. And now we switch to our Monarch. We'll see that our magazine size increase to that and our fire rates even higher. So that's actually really, really cool. I feel like this gold rush will be used in a lot of builds. You could just use it for mobbing, kill a lot of enemies and then swap to it, grab all the cash and then just have increased fire rate. You could have an infinite fire rate and magazine side, of course, subjected to how much cash that actually dropped. And I believe there's some weapons that actually do drop cash. So I wonder if you could use that and this weapon to infinitely get stacks and stuff like that. And I believe when you kill enemies with gold rush, the enemies do drop more gold. So it might be advantageous to just kill one regular enemy with the gold rush during your burst window with fade away on flak or even other vault hunters and then immediately swap. Now it's really cool that we have another weapon that essentially increases our damage almost infinitely. Of course, it's not our damage being increased, it's our fire rate, but since that's also increasing our magazine size, that's our total DPS. So it's essentially increasing our damage. So that's really, really cool. I feel like this is going to have a lot of busted builds around it. And I'm really excited for you guys to try it. As I said before, there's going to be a save file for all these weapons, artifacts, and grenades in the comments in the description. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> And the last shall be First to immerse in a pass out heat Facing him up with a moxie melt Till he woke up drowning in tchotchke hell Born a cave with a torch on a wall Then a window arrangement of porcelain doll